go! to run, Cassie. We can work so hard! Oh. You're up, Mason. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait! Oh. Uh, I, I just handled the money? I have no idea where Arashi is. I don't think you understand the situation. Ah! You Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Oh. Wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trap Zone Airfield tomorrow night. Uh. Oh. oh, I swear. I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages! This is not... Alright, let's load him up. He'll find his voice soon enough. Let me know if you need some help looking for it. Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in Trap Zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get a rush? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a Raj before things go hot. Mason, check it out. That's our man. 
1943. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. 1968. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man who is suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it's shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Mr. President, sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? 
We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Am. We're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalei, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. Bell, welcome to West Berlin. We've got a job to do. Mark. Adler. Bell.
get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD have tapped on their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. Good. Bell, this is where you come in. Your MI6 experience helped our team back in Nam. I'm counting on it once again. Head to the evidence board. Retrace our steps through Danag. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. That's it. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack. In a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fractured jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell, it's time to wake up. It's break time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher! How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Sims, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. 
That's why I want it all up here. Well, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset. Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler. Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Sub 2, let him up!
everybody looking for a needle in the haystack. You hear that? It's on you, Bell. Open the door. Adler, we confirmed it. Soviets on site. You sure? Well, I'm staring at two bodies that sure as hell don't look Vietnamese to me. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac Vsock? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged us a fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? Bell say that's all you need to know. Be that desperate already. Not yet. Perseus knew. Zim! Bell, you okay? <laughs> Call this a success, Sims? At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told, Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yo. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me.
We finished analyzing the names Bella Quiet at Nang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. on the drive belt. He holds answers to a great many questions. Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Kraus. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Falkov shows his face, it's killer capture. Take them out. 
Verhaftet. Rund auf den Boden. Hold, hold, hold. Beruhigen Sie sich. Pfiff. Now. Das ist so. Nice work. Let's clean this up. Kraus should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Bart, Lazar, we're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Careful of the spotlight. You know how to lock a place down, I'll give them that. Eye on that checkpoint. Krause will be coming through any time. Look for Krause with your camera. Damn. Security's even tighter than usual. If they detain Krause, he could miss his meeting with Volkov. Krause doesn't look like that. Near the checkpoint. Man with the briefcase. Is that him? Job. That's our man. That's Kraus. Krauss just crossed the wall. What's your status? Lazar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that. Our intel says Krauss and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Bell, find the contact. 
Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Krause setzt die Table over my right shoulder. Guten Abend, mein Herr. Was darf ich Ihnen bringen? Eine Berliner Weiß. Audio is loud and clear. Now we wait for Volkov. Hudson didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov. House is ecstasy, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. One of my informants was picked up in a random sweep just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. I would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. Or silenced. They're holding him here. Danke schön. Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. Heads up, Bella. Dick Volkov is walking in. Ich tue Ihnen nichts. Ich möchte nur ein paar Fragen stellen. Je länger ich suchen muss, desto schlimmer wird es für Sie. Kommen Sie jetzt raus! Ich bitte Sie nicht noch... Weg. Vielen Dank. Ich bleibe, glaube ich, so lange hier, bis die Stasi weg ist.
A, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I, I'm missing by the book. What, what, what did that paper say? You, you can't trust these people. I don't even know what you're talking about. Please, just let me return to my children. Thank you for saving my life. I'll be waiting to hear from you.
Parks in the electronics store right across the street from Krause's place. I was gonna pick her up some networks from the bomb bar. Park is just up ahead. We're back. A car pulled up near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Krauss is on the telephone. Get eyes on Kraus. What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Volkov wants Kraus's briefcase. We should place a tracker in it. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While he's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. Bart, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best aim. Lovely. Tut mir leid, hier gibt es keine Freya. Ja, das ist meine Nummer, aber ich fürchte, Sie haben sich... Hören Sie mal, ich weiß, dass Ihre Freundin nicht hier ist. Entweder hat sie Ihnen eine falsche Nummer gegeben oder Sie haben sich verschrieben. Natürlich, gar kein Problem. Ihnen auch noch einen schönen Abend. Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten.
Putz dir die Zähne. Komm gleich rauf. Don't let Kraus see you. But you let, let Perseus, Perseus know I captured him. We have greater killer as well. Her own colleague ratted her out. You spineless piece of shit. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, Greta. KGP's pockets are deeper. Yeah. Fine. Perseus has a large bounty on you.
Get after Volkov, Bell. On behalf of MI6, thank you. Volkov is ours. More than he deserves. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. The information from Volkov confirms our worst fears. First, he smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Bark will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. On comms. Keep Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. Bell, we need to move. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shit, Bark. I plan to stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Percy's has planned. Look at that monster. Reds could be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops want to see this. Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. High and low. Choose your target. to shoot like that. Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back and cover. Snap pictures of anything that looks important. Maps, blueprints, whatever you can find. I got over one. 
much. Find a way into the main building. I'll trail and disable the perimeter alarm. <laughs> on the other side of this door. Cover me. Not a fucking word, Bell. Town, USA. Get a picture of that bell. You a nerd or something? Good night.
Oh, shit. They're starting. Fuck, let's move. They want a live fire drill? Let's hook these fuckers up. Yeah, with the guys! With the guys!
Keep the pressure on! Let's see what the Reds are really up to. Welcome to the Soviet People's Warfare Analysis Archive. Operation Greenlight. Restricted access. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? Of course there's a password. Look around. These Reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. Nice. We confirmed it. The nuke smuggled out of Berlin is a green light asset. It's one of ours. If that gets out... No one will know. Not even Adler's team. The stakes are too high. Highest understatement. We're talking about an American nuke in beneath Berlin. I want to make sure you're committed, Hudson. The play has been called. The ball's in motion. Well, if the asset learns the truth... You're worried about truth now? I'm concerned about control of the asset. If we can't control the asset, we end the asset. Game over. I'm grabbing a copy. This doesn't make any sense. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. The stolen nuke is American, and Hudson fucking knew. Shit, time to go. I'm authorized exit. I can't fucking believe it. Clark, come in. Clark! Hudson lied to us. Fucking lied to us. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Greenlight. That's what Perseus is after. And Hudson has. What are you breaking up? Shit. Just get the hell out of there! Get the hell out Cover 
Yes, sir, I'm on it. The nuke was from green light. Didn't tell us. What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody, stand down. This little pissing match isn't going to help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie. It's an omission of fact. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced that the Reds moved on Europe. We couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. You're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau? I thought Hudson and we were buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want it more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio and we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Duh. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar fool you. Dimitri's kosher enough. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Well, he buried half.
heads up. Scouts on the ridge line. We should drop them now before we get any closer. Good kill. Nice. Let's keep moving. Not good. You take one, I'll get the other. Good kill. Yeah, this looks dicey. But hey, it's good enough the Reds. You go first. Time to pay Ivan a visit. See? Piece of cake. That's the old SATCOM building. Still standing after all these years. Barely. Let's keep moving. They got snipers. Don't let them spot you. Stay low. Keep out of sight. Find the crane, we find the mainframe. Mainframe for extraction with the crane. We find the crane, we find the mainframe. Ugh, Soviet engineering at its worst.
I lost my damn gun. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Stay sure. Woods. Crossbow bolt. Это место было заброшено после схода лавины. Я слышал, что при раскопках были найдены тела с пулеметом. Мне нужно подкрепление! Стреляю! I read you. You gotta be close. I'm surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. You see any dig sites? If I'm reading this map right, swing a few degrees to your left, more north. You ask me? They're here for more than just the mainframe. There, what's that? Bingo. Map says that crane is hanging near the old computer room. That's gotta be it. Have you found the mainframe? There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. Excuse me? My, my winch? Sorry, you're breaking up.